Okay, I am back. Luckily, that doesn't ever go on the recording. Phew. All right. So this is your brother. That's me. We're going to do another episode of Indie Sunday. This week's theme was Ghost Story. We had uh, 12 games submitted. 11 were submitted within the time frame. So we're going to play 11 tonight. Yeah, it had a glitch. You saw a glitch in the Matrix. Shh, don't tell anyone. I actually live in a pixelated house. It's called the Pixel House. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Roll the intro. Distraction. Okay, here we are. This is our first game of the evening. This is Ghost Story by Gray Griffin. Poop on the gorilla. Welcome to stream. How are you doing, my friend? Everybody, I would like to introduce you to uh, one of our latest subscribers. This is Poop on the gorilla. Poop on the gorilla. Everyone else. If you'd like to give a bow or anything that you uh, feel like you need to, you go right ahead. <laughs> hey poo poo oh man how you doing poop you doing good i hope you're doing well did ludum dare treat you okay dude oh my gosh code crafter thank you for the twitch prime sub dude welcome to the family you're part of this sibling crew now you get an awesome emote that gets you a little thumbs up from the little bro and uh yeah you get to hang out with us cool kids. And you don't have to watch any dumb ads. No problem. Had it sitting around. Might as well donate it. Well, I appreciate that, man. I really do. All right. So we have 11 games to go through tonight. This week's theme was Ghost Story. First game we're going through is Ghost Story by Gray Griffin. Uh, we don't have a menu screen or anything like that. It just jumps you straight into the game. And let's see what we have. So I think this is going to be like text-based. A lost spirit floats in your path. It's clearly been without its sensibilities for quite a while now. It's probably, it, it'd probably be best to destroy the thing and get on with your way. Get on your way. You can't afford any kind of delay, not on tonight of all nights, not with so much at stake. I'm going to be nice. Let's defend. You assume a defensive posture, but the spirit doesn't do anything. Ugh. The poor thing is without any sense of purpose. It doesn't even seem to have any have anger or age wrath. Rage left, which tends to be the last thing to go. Tisk, you really don't have time to deal with this right now. Talk? T talk? All right, fine. You'll have to make time. You ask the wandering shade, what's keeping it here? I, it stammers in an echoey voice of the departed, can't find my wife. Each syllable it speaks is drained and nearly silent at least it will talk to you maybe see if it has anything else to say talk again forgot to put the game name you ask the spirit where it last remembers seeing its spouse at home before the bombs it began to weep i'm so lost without her you sigh crap another family wiped out by the war the pathetic shades wife is almost certainly dead well, knowing that, you think there's something special you can do. Special. Click. You focus on the spirit and outreach your thin skeletal fingers. My thin skeletal fingers? What's going up, JC Monkey? Wolf. We have a Kai, JC Monkey, Code Crafter, Brobot, Mayshell, Poop on a Gorilla, Chai Tay, and Hugging Cactus Dev in chat tonight. Thank you guys for coming out. So, I have thin skeletal fingers. and pulls its essence into your palm. It sits there floating an inch above your hand, glowing with a flickering blue flame. Then you begin to sing. It's a song in a language long dead and gone. A song about losing a loved one and awaiting their long-forgotten reunion. You smile as you watch that fire turn from blue to white and disappear in a flash. Time or no, you do love your job. My game wasn't this great this week due to Ludum Dare. I couldn't get it 100% completed. Maybe you have thin skeletal fingers because you're a skeleton. <gasps> Am I the Grim Reaper? Where's Billy and Mandy? Uh, 
so talk again or special again? Well, that's that. You <laughs> you proceed along the path leading to the blue wooden house with a carved with a caved in with perched precariously at the edge of a cliff. You ignore the countless other war torn homes and devastated structures. There are plenty of restless dead here, but nothing you have time to deal with now. It's time to proceed. Oh, proceed. I have a big giant button. Oh, Michelle, thank you for the host. I appreciate you so much, Michelle. Michelle. Sorry, I'm getting your own your own name wrong. You approach the house and with a single slash cut the heavy front door to splinters. Proceeding with caution, you hear the soul-shaking cry before you see the poor creature. A zombie. Flesh falling off of its very bones, shambling around the living room you find yourself in. Searching desperately for something, but apparently lacking the coherency to know what that is. What that thing is. You don't have time for this. You need to get downstairs now. You can hear the moaning of a dozen wraiths down there. You're almost out of time. You'll have to deal with this zombie, but quickly. Attack! You apologize to the creature even as you bring down the edge of your scythe on its decaying head. Dealing 12... Am I playing Dungeons and Dragons? That's what I feel like I'm doing. Like, this is the dungeon master, and I'm the player character here. If the zombie was concerned with the attack... He doesn't show it. These undead are tough as nails. You can probably destroy it, but you might not have enough time. Proceed. Or attack again. Nothing to be done about it, you suppose. You strike again, this time severing one of its arms and dealing 14 damage. Certainly catching its attention. It turns to you, moving far more quickly through anything natural. It smashes its arm against your shoulder, dealing 24 damage. Black. You lash at the creature as you backstep, but nearly trip over a coffee table, robbing your blow of its intended power, dealing only four. The zombie shows entirely uncon seems entirely unconcerned with this pitiful blow and chases after you, glancing another arm against your rib, dealing 34 damage. All right, this is a losing fight. Time to do something special! Boom. You phase your body into the spirits of realms. Wait. Then the realms of spirits and shoot through the opening that used to be the front door. Turning, you exhale and return to physical space. Time to end this. You hold your right hand in the green cloaked sky and feel the energy gathering there. You call down from the heavens into your outstretched palm. Like a lightning bolt, it obeys your call. You grasp your scythe again, and then it thrums and sparks with volatile energy. Time for something real special! All right, where's the real special button? Nope, 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 nope. All right, we'll just we'll just settle for regular special. A wave of energy no thicker than a needle shoots from the blade of your weapon as you swing. There's a moment of perfect stillness as the wave cuts directly through the first story of the house. Then the entire structure explodes. Doc, let's proceed. Special again, you work your way through the devastated living room and find the stairway leading downwards. You offer a prayer to the heavens. You have to hurry. Time to proceed. As you clear the last step, you catch sight of the encounter you've been dreading, an amalgamation of a dozen lost and tortured spirits writhing. And I think that's supposed to be shifting. <laughs> Hey! All right! We got a gift sub! Kai, congratulations! Now you get to use the awesome emote! Uh, awesome! Cool! Thanks, Mayshell! We appreciate that! Uh, hugs around! So, while this uh, amalgamation of tortured spirits is pooping all over itself, probably poop on a gorilla, am I right? Uh, a hexen wraith. You are afraid of this. Well, however, you handle the situation. Let it be quick. Your mission is nearly at its end. Special! You are fairly certain there's nothing special you can do here without some more information. So let's attack it. You brandish your scythe. Just get it swinging. You get off a series of three strikes, 40 damage total. But the Hexen Wraith. Uh, we got a space, no space. Launches volleys of magical projectiles that you only nearly manage to avoid. The wall behind where you are standing is nothing more than rubble now. You don't want to get hit by one of those. Defend! No time for defense. You need to act quickly and decisively. You've been delayed. Hey, Qbert47, thank you so much for the follow. You decide to change up the tactics a bit. You phase out of your physical form and enter the realm of the dead and enter the creature's form directly. Oh, God. 
you begin slashing and hacking. Slashing, hacking, and even biting, tearing, even biting, tearing the fell entity apart from within. Dealing 76 damage, but with an unholy wail, it forces you back into the physical realm. You crash against a nearby wall and take 5 damage. Special? You know the drill. There's nothing special you can do here. All right, attack again. <laughs> this thing is on its last legs. Time for something special. But I wanted to do that. You told me I couldn't. You grasp your scythe with two hands and solver a silver flame along its blade. The wraith tries to strike at you with its long blue tendr tendrils of energy, but you easily stay ahead of it. Once you feel enough energy within your blade, you strike. Nothing flashy, nothing e extravagant, a single flawless cut. The beast erupts in silver flame, and it's gone. You hear crying coming from a door at the back of the room. Thank the stars. The babe is still alive. Quickly proceed. Quickly, quickly proceed. Qu quickly proceed. Special? No time. Proceed. All right, so we got one minute left on this one. Man, this has just been a lot of reading. You hurry into the small, soft blue room, miraculously untouched by the damage done by the to the rest of the home, you quickly catch sight of the cradle that holds the small fussing form of the child. A baby no more than four months old, you carefully wrap the babe in its blanket and hold it close to you, comforting, comfort, comforting it with soft cooing sounds like you've seen so many mothers do. The baby is asleep for a few moments and you hurry on your way. Your job is done here. It is time to find a child a home. Interesting. So, it's all text. Um, it's a text-based adventure. I don't really understand why we have the buttons. It feels like, to me, that they're not really... It's almost like a game of find the right choice. It's not a let me see if I can create different pathways. And I feel like that's what I was kind of coming in expecting it. Kind of like uh, Undertale or any other text-based adventure, there's so many different ways that you can go about the challenges. Now, there may be some pieces that are linear, and that's fine. They're really important story points, but I want to be able to make different choices that are going to let me go down different paths while continuing out the linear road itself. You know, like if I wanted to attack the zombie with um, a chair leg arm instead of the scythe, or, you know, if I if I had, like, dual flaming daggers or something and I wanted to use those instead of the scythe, scythe let me do that. Um, just to give me some actual variety that I'm allowed to do within the game. Now, what I'm saying is kind of an exaggeration on the chair leg and the scythe, but, I mean, the daggers, but give me some other way that I can go down this path that's not going to disrupt the story, but it's still going to feel like I have some control. Otherwise, it's more that I'm just reading like a story and I'm not actually interacting with it. So it's less of a game and more. I'm just turning the pages and reading the text. Um, another thing that you could kind of help this situation would be to add some sound effects um, as we're going. So like if I walk into a room, creak through the door or something like that and... You know, that lets me know, okay, I've entered a new area or make a weird noise like a zombie's there. So I kind of know what the scene is laid out to be. Um, even just some ambient music would be fine. Something that's just going on in the background. Some like real dark chorus, chorusy chords could have been a lot of fun there. Um, so that's Ghost Story by Greg Griffin. Thank you so much, Greg Griffin, for making this game. We'd love to see you come and chat on the chitty chat on the stream sometime if you get some time. We'd love to have you come by. On to the next game. <clears throat> I did talking all through my playthrough and got the same ending. Ah, yeah. See, we, ne we need some variation if it's going to be that type of game. Otherwise, it's really just a linear story. Then there's no interaction from our sides. We might be able to, like, stall. Like, if I'm attacking a creature and... I'm supposed to be using proceed, but it says, but I chose talking and it just kind of like sits there and stalls and says, no, you need to do something else. This doesn't look like it's the right time to do that. Or, you know, some professor Oak crap, you know, it's like, we're still not going anywhere. You're just making me spin in circles until it's finally like, oh, I'm supposed to go this way. So we need a little bit, a little bit more, a little, little bit more. 
<clears throat> All right, so this is actually a game that we played. Whoops. God, I'm all over the place tonight. This is actually a game that we played uh, during the Ludum Deer. But we're going to play it again for the sake of... Zoop. That it's also a weekly game jam game. I'm sure we can find some other things to talk about. Let me just size this ever so. So in my area, it looks like school's getting ready to start back for a bunch of the kids here. Anybody that's still in school, are they ready to go back to school and do kinds of, all kinds of fun stuff? Learn. Get learnt. School tomorrow. Ooh, last semester for college. Exciting. I'm going to get wrecked. That's, what I, that's usually what happens. So this is Moxie by Gareth the Destro. Penguin Foot, you've been in school for three weeks and it's been painful. Ooh, is that like summer school or something? So we're going to start off with a, a nice little medium difficulty here. So last time we talked about this game, really liked, really liked the music, really liked the character, the drawings and everything looks really good. Now he told me that he didn't make this music. This was something that he found online. Whoo! Ah! No high school. I'm excited to be going to college, and I took a couple years off. Oh, what's up, Nick the Sick? Yeah, go get you some. Go get you some some paid learning. So my biggest complaint last time was um, left and right controls. I don't have any way to control, like if I wanted to back up a little bit to try to make a jump a little bit better, you know, trying to better eyeball the ghosts as the ghosts are coming by. Because some of that's really outside of the control. And if I don't hit it right that first time, I have no, I have no choice. Forgot I had a double jump. I should be working on my game, but you are streaming. Oh, man. Uh-oh. I'm to blame. I got it. Well, uh, take this as a learning session with your bro. You know, you're, you're, you're writing down things to do and not to do for your next game. So you are still technically working on your game. Wink. I was hoping I could actually get farther tonight than I did last time. Ouch. No! <clears throat> nice thing to have on here would definitely be some sort of meter, meterage, so I know how far I've went. Um, it gives me something to kind of look forward to. It's like, oh, I got 100 meters. Well, next time I can probably hit 120. I got really close. And that's a good way to really kind of lure in people to continue playing the game is once they see that they did pretty decent, but they feel like they can go a little bit farther. That makes you feel real good. I think we could also introduce some like shaky platforms in here. That could be another interesting mechanic that we could add to this. Not only are you having to watch these ghosts, but you're having to take, um, you're having to take a little more cautious of a step. Oh man, I can't even see the ground on some of these lower platforms. So like if I were to step on a platform, I know I only have a, a couple seconds to stay on it. Otherwise, ah, oh, I can't see anything. There was parallaxing in another level. It wasn't there. Yes, uh, level three had some real strong parallaxing. There's just a slight parallax, I think, in this one. If I remember correctly. And there's some trees that come up every once in a while. Yeah. Some, some trees. It'd be nice to have the moon in the background have a little bit of a parallax. Yeah. I agree. But this game was a dual game. It was a dual submission, one made for Weekly Game Jam and then also for Ludum Dare 42. 
Uh, for those of you that are on stream from Ludum Dare 42, and you guys came from the Wednesday night stream, I do want to thank you guys so much again for coming by. Um, that was an amazing turnout. Uh, that's that's the biggest stream that I've ever had. So thank you guys for that. I really do appreciate that. And I'm excited to say that I'm going to allot a whole lot more time come December for the next Ludum Dare uh, so I can play an absurd amount of games just like um, uh, Lumpy Touch and Alicia Grave Griffin and uh, let's see, who else is playing Ludum Dare games? Jupiter... Some other people, yeah. So I'm going to try to allot some extra time come December for Ludum Deer games. Like, I don't know, maybe three or four days or something. Because that was a blast. That was so much fun. It was so great having so much interaction on stream about these games. I mean, it was difficult to keep up with chat sometimes, which is a great problem to have. <laughs> Boink. I'm going to turn this down, that sound effect, just a little bit on my side. <clears throat> so what other things could we do a 12-hour stream? Oh, yeah, I, I totally could do that. I have to line it up so something like that's possible. Uh, if you guys want to see me do a 12-hour stream in general, that's also one of the redemption uh, items that you can buy with pixels. And then we can come up with a suggestion on what uh, that 12-hour stream might be, whether it's Ludum Dares or... Old Ludum Dare games or something. I'm game. I'm game for whatever. I like hanging out with you guys, and if that's something that you guys would want to see, then sure. Why not? I've done eight hours, and that wasn't bad at all. Boink, boink. Yeah, I can totes do 12. I would take a good 15-minute break. Uh, two good 15-minute breaks in between. Somewhere split between the halfway points. Or the third thirding points. <clears throat> so some more ground things would be nice uh, uh, in hard mode they add a box in there I think that's really cool it'd be nice if we had an enemy that uh, kind of hangs out on the floor there that would be really cool controller support would also be another thing that's just uh, a nice thing to have what's the top reward brainstorming with your brother so this is kind of like my idea of game directing i guess i you could say where i sit down and i kind of help guide the theme or the programming insight or the program direction of a game like if you're just stuck on something and you keep making the same boring crap or something maybe i'll help you dive into that process and see if i can come up with any extra tips um i would sit down you know with a good session maybe two to four hours on a game and we'll just talk it over hash it out and you know, maybe I can help that creative process. I'm not a programmer, um, but I do understand basic function logic. And I like to think that I do pretty good with creating projects and building things out for whatever it may be. It's part of what I do for my job. So it's kind of like a it's kind of like a hangout, except for it's constructive. But yeah, some ground units would be nice. Some more details on um, like what I could run into on the ground. More boxes, enemies that we could introduce on the ground. Uh, the shaky platforms would definitely be a good suggestion. Left and right controls, something I said last time. I'm being a little more critical since I've actually already played this game once before. I'm just looking for extra things that we could add. Oops. <coughs> And unfortunately, I, I don't have a lot of experience with uh, Endless Runners. I've played Temple Runner mm, kind of some, not a whole lot. I've played the Super Mario Brothers Runner that's on mobile a little bit. I've played the Sonic Runner just a little bit. But all those are highly themed to a specific idea. Um, but this is really cool, though. I think it's definitely a good start. I love his animation style too. His pixels are just beautiful. Oink. Oink. No, dang it. Bonk. 
Bonk. I do find it difficult. I, I really do find it uh, a challenging game. I mean, I'm on the hard mode, and I've played, you know, this is about 20 minutes in from total game time played. And um, there's a lot of chance involved with it. Man, look at those black bars. They drop in quick. <clears throat> another way to regain a life, too. That would be nice. Like, if there's just another power-up that gives me a life back. That would be a real simple thing to add, but would add a lot of help. Maybe just to the first two levels, easy and medium. Whoop. Died. But nonetheless, it is a fun game. So this is Moxie. Moxie by Gareth the Destro. He's one of our community streamers. Go check him out on um, on the Twitch. If you want to follow what he does. Uh, this game was made, all of the art was made on stream, and then he did all of the programming off stream, which was pretty cool. He does, he does this two times a week, three times a week on Thursday nights and Saturday and Sunday mornings. I think at like 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday and Sunday and like 6. Man, I'm terrible at times. Something like that. Go check out his channel. Go look at that. He's a super awesome guy. Um, great, great streamer, and he has stream avatars, which everybody loves that he makes. I can't make stream avatars, guys. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I just can't bring myself to do it, and I'm a terrible artist. You would have, like, these <laughs> poor, poor creations of, of stuff. Oh, God, it's another foreign language. I have no idea what that says. Hello! Konnichiwa! Qbert47, I don't speak Japanese. I'm just really quick on the Google. Let's try to keep English if we can. Because otherwise I'm going to get confused. Real quick. Alright, loading up the next game. Oh, this looks interesting. Oh, sorry. No biggie. I just, uh... I don't know what's going on here. Next game on the list is Stories of Ghost by Later36. Shoosh. All right. How do I... I tried restarting the level. That actually didn't work. Let me close the game and reopen it. Whoop. You can see my mouth. Okay, so in-game... Movement, WASD, space is shoot, space, uh, uh, sorry, Z is shoot, space is, is the jump button? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. No, no, there's no safety. Whoa, what the heck? I'm stuck. Ah! How do I, am I, am I like in a different level? Is that what happened there? Whoa, 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 whoa. I like the fluttering of the ghost. I think that's really cool. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it, it kind of, it does feel really spooky, especially when you have a whole bunch of them doing it at one time. Huh. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's like level, like I'm going up the, um, the tower because I've killed a certain amount of ghosts or something. Can I get to 100 before I'm dead? The controls are a little difficult to try to manage. Since Z is shooting, WASD is still my movement keys. Yes, so it is 100. Um, it'd be nice if mouse click was my shooting. I think that would work out just a little bit better. 
I plan to make a game for a game jam, but plan too big for the time. So now it's just a friend project for me. Scoping. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a big struggle for the majority of game jammers is you have all of these really cool ideas, but you end up not being able to accomplish them because you get so worked up in those ideas and trying to build them out that it just becomes impossible. Best advice I can add is, is really write down on a sheet of paper those ideas that you have for the game, keep it, try to keep it as simple as you possibly can, and then make that game. Don't add anything to that list. Don't look at that list other than just to mark things off um, because you will get caught up in that. Oh, that's a really good idea. I could see how that could be really cool. And next thing you know, you're coding in the wee hours of the morning and all you have is a title screen that has a really cool animation. Oh, no, I died, but I got 214. I found it easier to use arrow keys. Oh, he does include both. Okay, you're right. The reset of the level does not actually work. Let's try that again. Oh, yes, you are right. It does. That is much better. Shoot. Bang. <clears throat> we also need some sort of trail for that bullet or just the bullet itself. Is there a sound on this game? My, my, um, my headphones are like, yo, bro, where's, where's your sound at, man? Let's open up the mixer and make sure. Yeah, there's no sound. My headphones are just having a cow. They're like, ah, I want to hear something. Why? Why don't you play music or something? Bunk, 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 bunk. Die. Die. So yeah, being able to see that bullet, that would be a nice, nice thing to add. That would probably be the very next thing that I add, just so you get a better sense of I'm actually firing something, where that bullet's going. Um, move that mouse. And then next I would create a sound effect for that, just so we do have a firing of that gun, and then every single time that a ghost hits me, boink, boink, we could get a sound effect for that as well. I think we do need to change the tracking of these ghosts just a little bit here. Um, it feels like there's there's almost no way that I can hit all these ghosts without taking damage myself. Uh, maybe we could introduce like the boo effect where if I'm looking at a ghost, they get frozen. Or we could do like the reverse. If I'm looking at a ghost, they start moving. If I'm not looking at a ghost, they stop. And then I can kind of better plan out what my path is for killing all of these ghosts because it is extremely difficult to try to kill these guys without taking any damage and you know that's kind of what we want to shoot for we we don't want to think oh well, i have to take damage um because that's just part of the game you know we want to think how how can i practice and train to get better so i don't take any damage because man that is I mean, I'm doing pretty good the more I play, but oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. But I'm still taking way more damage than I feel like I need to be. Hmm. I'm at the top of the mountain. Do I go on the roof next, or is this the top, 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 top? What was your highest score, Akai? Okay. No, no. Ha. I really want to get 300, but that's not going to happen. Oh, dang it. 230. Oh, 292. But uh, very good first attempt, I believe. I think I read somewhere that this was your first game. Not 100% sure on that. You have to tell me. Or what, now you don't want to... Okay, there he goes. It's like, yeah, I'll go full screen. Nah, just kidding. And if we're going just a little bit farther, um, maybe some variation. So I like the whole tower idea. Maybe we can kind of like 
focus on that. So the beginning level is you just you have your base levels, ghosts, and a handful are coming through. Um, maybe we, we call it like wave form. Uh, we, we, we've got 10 ghosts that are on the bottom. I kill all 10 ghosts, then I go up to the next platform. And then we've got ghost level one, which is just a white ghost. And then we've got like a blue ghost or red ghost or yellow ghost or something like that, that changes that, that feel, um, of that ghost. Maybe it's, it, it follows a different pattern, like a wave. Maybe it's faster. Maybe it ignores the whole, if I look at the ghost mechanic, it freezes thing. Maybe it goes invisible and comes back alive and you have to kind of plan on when you're going to shoot. Um, but I do like the rising of the tower thing. I think that's probably something you want to highlight and continue doing. The graphics, like whoever made this house, I, I think that looks really nice. I think that looks really cool. I am now negative 37 in the hearts. That's that's hurtful. But I think it's uh, definitely a neat idea. We just now need to talk about how do we refine it and make this something that stands out and... Um, works just a little bit better with the shooting portion because not being able to see that bullet that that causes some complication and there's every once in a while i'll get like a weird glitch with the controls like i get stuck and i'm not really sure what i get stuck on i like how the ghost looks like they're blushing uh, i guess i'm a pretty handsome dude i got these quick feats Look at them moving around like that. I kind of, I kind of have like the sonic. See, like right there, I get stuck a little bit. And I can't move. I'm, I'm, I am completely stuck until I kill a good amount of the ghost, and then I can start moving again. Eh, <laughs> boom. Eh. <laughs> Maybe they just want to kiss you. Wouldn't be the first time. Hard to keep those ghost ladies away from him. Just look at him. He's got that real stern look. He's one of those bad guys. He just needs a he just needs a black leather jacket now. Hey, was this on uh, was this an online jam? Um yes. If online as in like public jam. This was from the weekly game jam. Dead. All of the dead. Hot. <laughs> That's my wife says. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Some music would be nice. Some, some sound effects are definitely something that, you know, guys, I'm a big proponent for. I think it really helps sell a game. Yeah. Arts off. If you ever want to uh, join the game jam. You're more than welcome to. We have one every single week. It's a lot of fun. And then I play a selection of the games, usually 12 on stream. And then I do a couple articles about some of the others on the Facebook page. Oh, yeah. Just meant if it was done at a physical location or online. Yes, this is a totes online game jam. As far as I know, I don't know anybody who's working physically together at a place for this. But yeah, if you're interested, go check out the Discord. That's where you can get started and get signed up and go meet some other peeps. I might take you up on that sometime. Have a lot of game projects going on, though. It's a good problem to have. I think one of my favorite parts about the Game Jam is it really challenges you with rapid prototyping. You get to create some stuff that you might have never created because you have to theme it around what they suggest. So you're not always saying, well... I just want to make platformers. I don't want to make anything else. Just platformers, 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 platformers. And then you get a theme like, ah, I can't make a platformer out of this. I'm going to have to make something else. So it's a good challenge. And you learn how to quickly make stuff um, that's worth playing. I think that's one of my biggest appeals about the game jam is it teaches you. I've got this really cool idea. I want to try to make it. Blah, 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 and you work away on a week and you're like, well, I did that. I, I did a thing. I'm proud of that. All right, Stories of Ghosts by Later36. So this was cool. This was very good. I think projectile, we need to be able to see that. Sound effect for the projectile. Um, 
Uh, we fixed a problem with the keyboard. That was just a me. You had arrow keys on here and WASD. I just default to WASD. So having arrow keys and having Z in space, that kind of fixes that, and we're good there. Um, music would not be nice in the background. You could put a track that just loops over forever and ever, amen, and that would be sufficient. I imagine some sort of Japanese or Chinese style music in the background with some real horror tones to it or something like that, just because we're fighting ghosts in this giant tower. Maybe it's the tower from Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the Silver Tower, where Lugia used to reside. I don't know. Great game. Thank you so much, Leader36. I really appreciate you. Come by and chitty chat on the stream sometime. If you get a chance, we'd love to have you. Yeah, I feel like I've improved a lot by doing weekly game jams. Yeah, and Akai's a veteran. Man, she's com completed, like, I don't know, 15 jams now? Something like that? You've completed quite a bit, my dear. I have to go back and look. Eighteen. Dang. Eighteen game jams. Look at you. That's gotta feel good. This was another game? Have any long-term projects? Yeah, that's a good question. Do you have any long-term projects, Akai? I have no idea how old, old you are or if this is something like you're going to school for or if this is something that you do for your profession or anything like that. But is this something that is near and dear to your heart that you're going to continue on? I have the thirst today. Real quick. Don't forget, we have Top Clipper every month. So if you catch me doing something stupid, or if you catch me picking my nose on stream, make sure you clip it, give it a name, and then at the end of the month, I will pick whoever has the most views, and you will get a $5 Steam gift card. Also, we are doing a giveaway. I'll open that back up so you guys can enter. I'm giving away a copy of Game Maker Studio 2, it's a 12-month lease, or license, I guess is the right word, for the Game Maker 2 Creators Edition. We're going to be doing our drawing this game uh, week 60, and you can buy three tickets. They're 100 pixels each. I have a little media badge that's got information about the giveaway, since a lot of people are asking questions about that below. Just go down there and look at that. It's real cool. Sign up if you want to. We'd love to have you enter. <clears throat> All right, next game on the list. Ghost Cleaner by Akai Okami. Speak of, here she be. You are a friendly poltergeist who is helping to pick up the house. To help pick up, to, who is helping to keep the house tidy. Pick up items and put them back where they belong. Use WASD or arrow keys to pick up items. Press space. Penguin Foot, thank you so much for the follow. Ooh, should have a demo out soon. Make sure you go follow a Kai. Interesting. You can only carry one item at a time. Put an item away. You need to carry it to where it belongs. Trash belongs in the bin. Food belongs in the fridge. Press space to start. Dun, 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 dun. Trash, go. Trash, go. Pizza, fridge. Uh. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so now that I've figured out what's going on, I've actually played this game from Ludum. I feel real good about it. I told her last time I would love to see some additional rooms and some way to interact with the world so I can get them, I can get the person to move to different areas. I think that would be a really nice feature to have. Like, I can come over here and shake the trash can. And then he decides, well, I'm going to go check out why in the world the trash can was shaking. Or I can come over here and spook Mr. Hamster. Let's see what that happens. Just out of curiosity, Akai, do you have a hamster? 
This is as far as I got with the game. It will go on endlessly from here. Thank you for playing and have fun. Always do. Got the toothbrush. Bonk. Woo. Can I hire this ghost? Been using Unity mainly, but just made a small project in Game Maker to try it out. <laughs> you still pro. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, so he doesn't see me in the hallways? At all? I don't know if I realized that last time. <laughs> Can you put the toothbrush in the fridge? It will so irritate the human. <laughs> Scanix TV. That sounds like a good idea. Let's go try. Let's go see if it'll work. There we go. Here we go. Bonk. Nope. No dice. I think some more complex puzzles, too. That could be fun. Like, um, so maybe instead of just simple drop-off, maybe we have to stay at a station to do something. Like, a terrible example would be, like, I have to clean the toilet. So I have to stay here, hold down the space bar while the, while I, the toilet gets cleaned. So that way I'm forced to occupy that space while I'm waiting. Um... For that to be done but i also have to think well crap he's coming i can see him coming around the corner am i gonna have to let this let this go and have to come back and clean it up later what am i gonna do that could be fun like wash the dishes that could be another thing that we could add where i'm having to sit there and scrub a dish waiting for him to come by yep. clean the bathtub <laughs> spook the hamster you know it's it's part of our job description I'm, I'm, I'm all about scaring this, this hamster just because Akai didn't seem to want that. <laughs> ah, humans dropping the rubber ducks everywhere. Ah! You know, you're in the kitchen, you want to get you a snack, and you just set your rubber ducky down. You know, everybody carries a rubber ducky with them. Please don't spoop the hamster. A booga 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 booga. No hamster. Akai doesn't have a hamster. That's sad. I thought this was a look inside of Akai's house. Look to see what the average Akai does on a average, normal, average day. Averagely. Oh. Oh, what a trickery. He was like, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go out now. Psych! He will have a new speed record on the hamster wheel trying to flee. <laughs> And you start seeing like at the at the ends where it's holding on to the wheel that there's a little bit of a little bit of char there where it's caught on fire. Nope. Oh dang it. Too spoopy. Can't handle too spoop. Cheap electricity. Yeah, just hook him up to the main breaker. I'm sure nothing will happen. And bonk. Bonk. A simple counter could also do pretty well, too, just to kind of give us an idea of um, how many items we've put back in their place. Is the bar... Ah, oh, the bar is the overall dirtiness. Yes. So the more that I pick up, as soon as I pick it up, actually, the bar goes down. So it's not the fact that it's actually put away yet. It's the fact that it's been picked up. Dang it. At first, I thought he must not notice you. No, dang it. Some, some, a little bit of dialogue from him would be too like, huh, I left my pizza in the bathtub. Where did it go? My rubber ducky, I know I left it in the kitchen on the table. No, 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 no. 
That could be funny. Like he does a little pause, like, and then he just keeps going. That'd be great. Bonk, bonk. Rubber ducky. Hamster needs rubber ducky. You need the rubber ducky. Fine. So if you lose, then he loses his mind. <laughs> Absolutely. I always eat pizza. I eat my pizza in the bathtub. Easiest way to clean up the crumbs. That's a Kai for you. She's got this all figured out. She's got the good way of living. Nothing like a drawing a nice bubble bath, getting your favorite book and your favorite slice of pizza. Just enjoying yourself. I live in the bathtub for that reason. I just wake up and shower. Grab my laptop over and start going to work. That's that's the life right there. Scanix TV, whatever it is you do for a living. I need uh, I need you to send over a, a application, man. I might uh, I might be interested. Not gonna lie, the first time I saw the toothbrush, I thought it was a cucumber. And I, I honestly tried to put it in the refrigerator, didn't I, Akai? Mostly because the screen resolution was like super tiny. I blew it up now, so it looks perfect. Professional chatter. Ooh, pizza bath. I'm game. Smother me in some marinara sauce and cheese, and I'm, I'm a happy camp. Happy camper. I want to scare. Like I want to be able to interact in this world or something like maybe maybe i could stand in front of the mirror like i could hide in plain sight and and he walks up and gets spooked and runs into the other room like i just feel like i want i want to say hi to you why won't you play with me i just want you to squeak the duck with me please no love he has no love for me it's all hatred oh dang it dun, 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 dun. I'm just gonna stare at him aimlessly. <laughs> ah, floating rubber ducky! It's fine, it's normal. But you know, Akai, I think I think you could actually turn this into like a series. I think this could actually be a fun little like mini game series. Like you <laughs> you hire your ghost to do all kinds of things, like Maybe next time he is in charge of throwing a party. So you have to have him go around and clean up messes and, uh, oh, not going to make it. Um, and like refill punch bowls and, you know, all kinds of different stuff for different themes. Like it could be a wedding. It could be a party. It could be, you know, just cleaning up the house. This type of thing could could go on to so many different little like mini games. You can make this like uh, one of those idle mini games where you're just loading <laughs> into the next game and he just sits here and does this. Uh, lonely, that's his name. Lonely. The Lonely Ghost. It's not Casper. Oh, she just flat out said no. She says, I ain't naming this ghost. She says no. What? Uh-oh. Uh. So is does it not count if I'm like if I'm on the wall? What? Did I just figure out something? <clears throat> so wait. Oh. <laughs> uh oh, is right. Let's go up here. Let's let's try that. Let's try that again. So if I go on the wall up here. Oh, it sees me. Okay, okay. So it's just the bathroom wall. <laughs> That's great. Let's try it again. What? Oh, I forgot about the rubbish. Rubbish. <laughs> ah, it's just a ghost towel. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. That's great. <laughs> all right so that's that is ghost 
Ghost Cleaner by Akai Okami. Thank you so much, Akai, for coming by. Uh, awesome little game. We've already talked about this game. You know, just just getting some just some extra rooms and finding some other ways that we can agitate the room to get them to go to different places so I can work on cleaning that room, making it a little bit harder for me to clean some of those areas, adding some sort of counter so I can see how many items that I've cleaned up in the house once we get into that endless mode. Uh, great game. Love it. I love what you create. It's always so much fun. Probably didn't set the collider area big enough or something. Yeah, you probably had it for like the floor of the bathroom, but you didn't include the wall, that back wall. That's probably what happened. Uh, I've seen that quite a bit. All right. Let me capture the next room. Yeah, you got it. Anytime. Alright, next game on the list is Ghost Story by Schnarf. Let's see what we have here. Alright, this is Ghost Bob Squarepants. Say hi, everybody. So I have some lives up here. Oh, wow. that they, Oh, they float with me. Oh, I have a jump. Okay, alright. Oh, I can hover. Dude, that's cool. So I need... Oh, ooh, ooh. Hmm. That's going to be fun. Oh, I don't like the jiggle of the screen. Oh, man. Hmm, that is, that is not fun. All right, I'm going to squint my eyes. See if I can not get sick. Boy, that is jiggly wiggly. This is all really cool looking. It's like Mario meets Kirby. What the heck are those things? I have no idea what that is. I'm not about to touch it to because I'm assuming it's a bad thing. It's going to kill me. I like the little mess of hair that he's got. He's got a little ball cap on top. That's cool. Crabs? Maybe? Oh, no. Oh, oh, that one spotted me. Evasive maneuvers. Kirby away. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, whew, barely made that. All right, I need six more coins. I've already got the ones up there. Good there. Mm. I feel like I'm gonna fall every single time I start this. Some of it is like I'm having trouble really discerning depth because I don't have real good control over the camera. I can't make it move in a certain direction, or can I? No, I don't have any control over that. It's got this, it's got this like fishtail, kind of like slow movement with the UI. I, I honestly think I would rather just have that UI static and not move. Um, oh, hello. Uh, heaven? I made it to heaven? I always wondered what heaven looked like. Am I the first one here? Hello? Ah, uh, guys, I'm the first one to heaven. No! That's funny. He gets 26 coins. That's my lucky number. And then he goes to heaven. I don't know if I want to collect 26 coins. I like the super boinginess of him. 
If you die, do you go to hell? We're about to find out. The description says, collect the coins to go to heaven. So that's actually water. I thought that was just like air. Nope, it just restarts. So you have like three bursts that you can push yourself a little forward. And then you slowly start to decline after that. slowly yeah so I would totally freeze that UI keep the UI right where it is so it's not kind of creating this this awkward feel like it's fishtailing more than it actually needs to um, I would surrender the controls of the camera back over to the mouse so we can get kind of like that third person feel back because um, this guided camera is, is I think a little funky and it kind of takes away from the level a little bit and makes it hard to establish depth like sometimes I'm, I'm really just looking at that shadow to make sure it touches the ground before I trust anything because like the distance between this and that it's really hard to tell and since I can't move that camera I can't judge it to see what it actually is um, and if I get in a situation like situation like that where I need to turn around uh, I can't I don't have any way to turn around and see not within the time frame that I need to I think the character is super cute. I think these guys are super weird. That might be what you're going for, though. Let's touch them. See what happens. Uh, what you do? Are we friends? Whoa, whoa, buddy. Oh, he pushes me. Oh, he pushes me. He says we ain't friends. I don't know you. I don't know you. track feels like it's a little too obvious of a, a loop. Uh, it'd be better if you had something that agreed all the way through the loop so it feels, feels like one continuous loop instead of like a complete thought within that. Like you want it to sound like it could just continue to go on and on forever instead of a, 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 a melody that is finished. Like we want it to just continue on instead of it being resolved at the end because then I constantly get this open and closed feel. Um, I can, I can, I, it's, it makes me distinguish it a little bit more and I really don't want to distinguish it. I want it to be there in the background. I want me to be able to hear it, but I don't want to con constantly think about it. And since it is pretty catchy, I'm constantly hearing now it's in the focal point for me. Yeah, it is a little bit much for me. It would be fine like if we, if we got rid of that last little lick there, where it finishes it out then I think it would be a nice loop that would wouldn't have that resolve that I'm looking for and feel like it's the end of the game or the end of the song whoa I'm falling. Um, I really like this character I think he's got a lot of a lot of pizzazz about him he feels different he's a ghost he looks like he's a ghost maybe from actually Pac-Man but they just threw some hair on him and a hat that's pretty funny um, I like the way that he feels. He's got a little bit of weird clipping with the hat and then also sometimes his, himself. Like you can see him kind of breathe through the hair a little bit there. So that'd be something to look at too and see if you could clean that up some. Um, but I mean, you, you've, proof, you've proof of concept to me. You told me what, what it is you're trying to make. It's completed. It's, it's, it's got a quirky little ending where I go to heaven. That's pretty cool. Um, so we've got the basis. Now we just need to start talking about how, what direction are we going to with this? Are we, are we talking about building this out campaign? Are we going to look at a plot? Are we going to create a special world for him? Is there an interesting backstory that makes him step, step out? Maybe he's a wannabe ghost. Maybe he wanted to join the Pac-Man team, but he was refused. He was pushed away. He said he wasn't good enough. He said he had to shave his hair to get rid of the hat. And he said, no, I will not do that. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. 
I don't know. You guys tell me. What do you think? What do you think his story is? What do you think his his bushy bushy hair story would be? All right. That is Ghost Story by Schnarf. Thank you so much, Schnarf, for making that game. We appreciate you. Come see us if you ever get any time to come hang out on the Chit Chatty channel. We'd love to have you. As always. When do these game when do these jams start in the week? They start on Friday and they end on Thursday. At 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <coughs> And then I do the Indie Sunday on Sunday, where I play the games from the jam. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. Call me an advocate, if you will. Do da do da do da do da do da do do. Come on now. It's thinking. It, it like wants to work. All right, let's try that again. I want to end my projects for game jams, but man, college. Preach. Feyorb, how are you? Welcome to stream. I hope you are well. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. Two can play hardball. I'll show you who's boss. What's new in your life, Feorba? Feorba? Next game is Notebook Boy in the Ghost Book by Draws a Blank because I'm dumb and didn't actually write it on there. Whoops. Y'all going to fire me if I keep this up. But you can't. This is Nick the Sick. I'm eating pasta. This should be good enough, right? Pasta. Yay, Nick the Sick. Boom. Here we go. Let's take a look and see what Nick the Sick has brought to us today. <clears throat> what kind of pasta are you eating? That's what I want to know. That's what everyone wants to know. Someone has decided to write a story, but they are writing it on your page. Quickly erase everything so you don't run out of space. Okay. It is me. I made this for Ludum Dare 2. Oh, cool. How to WASD arrow keys to move space to erase. You can erase the text and the doodles. Did did you take a picture of this? Is this yours? That's cool. A good one. You're eating a good one. Play. Oh, erase. How do I erase? Space, right? No! Don't draw houses! Houses are not allowed! Stop it! No, I'm not okay with this. Please stop. I don't want anybody to find out my secrets that I like flowers and hearts. He was in love! Oh god! No, I wasn't! No, it's not true! Don't know! It's just a lie. Forever? What do you mean forever? No, the end? Why are they... I can't erase those. Congratulations, you were able to save your spot on the page again. How to play. Dun, 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 dun. No, 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 no. The ghost. Once upon a time stays. Okay. You know me. I'm going to try. I just noticed, but he actually has like a shadow on the pencil. That's pretty cool. Does he have a shadow on the hand, too? Aw, oh, bummer. He needs a shadow on that hand, too. Don't tell my secrets about my ghost girlfriend. My goodness. 
No, 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 no. Dang it. It says, once upon a time, stick man forever, the end at the end of the game. Let's see what happens when the whole thing fills up. Can I go off the page? Oh, bummer. Hey, look, it's a charger. And a candle. Whoa. Game over. You lost. Too much ink. Here is the story. Once upon a time, there lived a ghost in a big house. He was in love with the cutest ghost. He went to pick her a flower, and she loved it. They lived happily forever, ever. The end. The end. Oh, uh, look at that ghost. He's a, he's a fancy pants. Oh, bow tie. Ooh, car keys. That looks like uh, deodorant. No, there was never a ghost. You didn't see anything. <clears throat> I just noticed that you put tape between the binder so it'd be easier for him to maneuver. That was really clever. This is a neat idea. No, you can't see it all. I'm not allowing this. I am not allowing. <clears throat> So this is a really cool idea where you're telling a story and then I'm trying to erase it. I'm trying to imagine what are some other reasons why I would want to erase the text that's been drawn. I like the whole like I'm pouring out my heart into a journal thing. But I'm wondering how can we expand that? How could we push that to like maybe more than one page? Like, maybe we're actually telling a long, drawn-out story, and we're either, like, rewriting the page or we're changing some of the text or something like that. Because I really like this. I think this is really cool. Some advice I've gotten was add more to the eraser or the player has to avoid being erased. Oh, yeah. Like, maybe he could accidentally get wrote over, and maybe that slows him down. Like, you know, he's lost a leg or something like that, so he does have to... Or he's a little bit slower. I can see like a, a page turning mechanic like so we're breaking down the story into smaller pieces in each page we're we're having to focus a little bit more on um, so there's gonna be a timed thing so like on that first page let's get the whole thing up so we can kind of see what that looks like because I definitely think there's something here I think we could turn this into like a book thing like maybe this is our consciousness our conscience, um, the little character that's on the screen. And we know that if we write these things out, somebody's going to eventually find them. And the hand represents what our heart says, what our heart wants to say. So our hearts are writing out our feelings and pouring out these things. And um, we're like, no, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't say all that. We, we've got to change some of this. And so maybe we can alter the story um instead of just simply erasing it. And that could be the the ploy that or that could be the thing that we're trying to communicate is saying we we don't want these kind of feelings to be wrote down. We want to just have the factual things. <laughs> Once upon a time there was a ghost who lived in a big house. He had a cool friend with a girl. Uh he found a flower and she said I liked that flower. They lived. The end. So consciousness is trying to make that story happen. So everybody's like, no, 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 it's fine. It's normal. They're not in love or anything crazy. While the heart is really trying to show the feeling and the love and, you know, that type of side. So you're constantly battling the, the hand and, or the consciousness and the heart or the conscious and the heart. The mind, the brain and the heart. And the fighting between the two of them could be like what you were saying, where the hand is trying to avoid or the, the person is trying to avoid the hand. Otherwise, they get slowed down or they get killed um, either by like a slap or something like that. And then you could do that one page at a time and tell a longer story while still using the same mechanics. I think you got something that's really cool here. I can see the man being the ghost, 
that does not want people to find out about the story with the girl ghost since he's too shy or something like that. But they live. They lived. But the air goes, <gasps> Badoo. Leave it to a Kai. Leave it to a Kai to find it out. But I think this is really cool. And I love the fact that you actually use like a notebook, like a legit, this is a notebook. And I, I, I'm just like creep stalking on all of your stuff. I like this bow tie. That's a pretty nice little bow tie. Is that a speaker? Is that what that is? Oh, God, I'm stuck. Ooh, that could be another neat thing. <gasps> Ooh, where I'm actually like getting stuck. Like maybe, maybe there's some sort of me mechanism where the hand knows where the, 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 the body is and it's trying to trap me in. So the words are solidified. It's really happening. So you'd have to think a little bit harder there. And I think you'd probably have to break up these phrases into actual words. But for example, like I got up in this corner here. And I can already not go that way without erasing. Um, now I'm stuck. You know, I'd have to go down here. But that's really cool. That's really neat. Because then it's like, oh, crap, he's able to write a whole lot more. But I can't get out. So I have to slowly make my way out by, by you know, going out that way. That's really cool. That would be a neat thing to add. That would definitely be a neat thing to, to take this to the next level. And that gives you enough stuff to really work on. And to have it be like a full-fledged story with a lot of little content to kind of worry about. You're trying to create the story and what you feel like is the best and the most accurate. You're trying to avoid the hand knocking you in, locking you into different areas. Um, you're using this interesting book thing. Um, I, I like this. This is cool. And it's kind of unfolding more and more as we're going along and talking about it. Um, and the fact that it's a legitimate book on this giant tablecloth or doily thing. I don't know. That's really cool. Is that two different pictures? Or is it the same picture? Because wasn't there more stuff there? Yeah, there was. Oh, it's two different pictures. Oh, yeah. And the preview thing? That was that was pretty cool. I, I really like that. Two different little viewpoints to see each side. That way, when you get on one side versus the other, you can still kind of keep track of what's going on. Cool. Cool, dude. Nick the Sick. That was another neat little game. I love that. That was fun. So this is Notebook Boy in the Ghost Book by Nick the Sick or GD underscore Nick the Sick on Twitch. Thank you so much for making this, dude. Excuse me. Golly, I got the burps tonight. I got the burps. I got the, I got the burps. <clears throat> All right. Next game. This is Saving Mozart by Arthur Shios. All right, let me give you the full. A little full screen. Jeremiah liked his dog a lot, but there was only but there were only one. This is why he became so sad the day he died. Oh man, that's sad. It started for oh no, to started to look for a way to bring him back. Oh God, oh God, oh no, 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 no! I know how this ends. Full metal, full metal alchemist. No, I. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh my gosh. Listen to that music. Mozart. Did I just creep into the pits of hell? Why Why is the dog in hell? What did the dog do? Maybe we shouldn't save Mozart. Maybe he ran like a side business or something. Oop, that looks not okay to touch. We're just gonna not touch that. He looks like he's running like he's got his hands in his pockets. What's up there? What's that? Oh, I died. Can't touch the top of spikes. The, de the music definitely feels creep creep. Hey, buddy, are you my pet? Nope, 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 nope. I like this game, but I got stuck on the second, maybe third level. Let's see if you can get past it. Ooh, challenge accepted. 
casually walking through the pits of hell. The music helps to set the mood, huh? Absolutely. Ah, oh, dang it. Shoot, man, I can't even get past the first level, Akai. I think you've already got me beat. Creep, 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 creep. Nope, nope, nope. I don't have a double jump either, right? I just have a single jump. I don't have any attack buttons. I'm not gonna make that. Oh, I did. Yes, yes, I did. What the? Is that a bird? I'm assuming I'm not supposed to touch that. Just casually walking through spikes. Hello! Hey, buddy! Oh, smash. He has all the little skeletons. Should put one everywhere you died. takes me back to to Mario days. Nope. Ah, oh, boom. I think the key to these games is never stopping. As long as you just constantly move forward, you usually do okay. Whoa, whoa, bro. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, dang. What level is this? Is this the third one or is this only two? I think this is only two. I'm enjoying this. This is fun. You. Take a nice little stroll through hell, you know. What we do on the weekends. Whoop! Or not. This is the one I got stuck on. Well, I got pretty far, didn't I? Feel like I was pretty close to the end. That was a lot of windmills. It's a lot of spiko windmills. Whoop! I like the art. I do too, poop on a gorilla. Do you get a good laugh out of everybody when uh, they say your name for the first time? I know I did. Boink. <coughs> no, snappers. No. Aw. Man, that's hard if you've got him there. Ouch. I get close to the end once or twice, but the windmills are really hard, especially when there's two in a row. But it's fine so far. It's that dang dog that got me. I was I was on a good good little roll there. Boink. And not knowing where he's gonna be, that's what sucks. There's the dog. Or thing. Whatever the heck the thing is. Yeah It's probably your dog just trying to greet you. <gasps> Puppers. No. Oh. 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 Okay. Smashy smashers. Oh. Okay. Cool. I made it, Akai. I made it. Oh, smashy again. Spiky, we'll call him. Here, Spike. What? Smash. Smash. Oh, smash. You beat me. Ah, barnacles. Way too quick. Just a little too quick. I 
I would love just a little bit of narration of like what's going on with this guy's mind. Like, does he care about the pet? Is is there is he having doubts while he's down here? Because this is pretty some pretty weird stuff. I mean, I mean, I guess I would do a lot for my dog, but going down to the pits of hell, I don't know if that's on the list. Sorry, gadget. Love you, buddy, but uh, I don't know. It seems like a lot of a lot of time off. I spent like 20 minutes on this game and you've beaten it in like five. I specialize in really crazy, weird, weird games. Oh! <laughs> then I get killed by like the simplest of things. That's my luck. Like, I'll play through the fire and flames on, like, expert level, and then I'll go play, like, slow rider and <laughs> lose them within the first 10 seconds. Or something stupid, like, keyboard, or my fingers are on the wrong keys or something. Ah, oh, dang it. I don't know if that's correct there. I feel like I'm getting killed by, yeah, I don't think I should be getting hit that, that close. So I might go look at that little hit collider there and see why I'm getting smashed. But this is cool. Yeah, I think the only thing I would add is maybe a sound effect here for his jump. You've got a, a death sound. It'd be nice if we had some sort of smash sound effect for these big things here too. And then just add um, maybe some light narration at the beginning of each level just to kind of pull the the main character on what he's feeling during all of this madness. I mean, it's not every day that you, you get put in these type of situations. And he seems pretty chill about it, so I want to know why why he's super chill. Might be able to get it this time. As long as I don't do anything super stupid. Nope. Chill on the edge of that bad boy. Ooh. Doggo, doggo. Jump over it. Man. Man. <gasps> Alright, I don't think I can do any more. Uh, I still got a minute left. Ah! Uh, what is that? Oh, God. <laughs> Dang. So, uh, who made this? Arthur Shios, dude, you you've got some good levels on here, man. Like they feel very different, and you're introducing a good amount of content each level. It doesn't feel like it's just the same repetitive stuff. It feels really good. Oh, now we've got just infinite falls. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, ah. Um, good job. Just just add me a jump sound effect. Maybe consider adding just a little bit of uh, narration at the beginning of each level to just kind of pull him for what he's feeling and then um, check the collision between some of those smashes and your character because I feel like I should have been able to get a little bit closer without getting hit. Um, maybe just a little bit. Yeah, very good levels. Very, very good. Definitely challenging. Much of the challenge. This looks cute. Good night, Akai. Sleep tight. Don't let those bed bugs bite. If you do, make them pay rent. Work. I love how sometimes these games are like, yeah, yeah, we'll capture, we'll we'll cooperate, we'll do what you want. And other times it's like, yeah, no. You don't pay me enough. I'm not going to do what you want me to. No way. All right, next game on the list is Pop-Up Platformer by Jason Monkey. 
Nope. I lied. I derped. I don't know how to I don't know how to count. But I'll go ahead and do JC Monkey since since why not? <clears throat> it's a very short game, he says. That's not your game. <clears throat> ah, there we go. I tried to do an extra one for my Ludum Deer game. Oh, uh, wait, you're a uh, Firefox guy. That's right. For your Fox. Right? And everything that you normally make is, does better in Firefox? Bonk. Tell them to get their crap together. All right. Pop up platformer by JC Monkey. Boop. All right. So we're in a book. We're this guy. Do I have a double jump? All right, double jump. Double jump it is. Oh, double jump. Here we go. Oh, I just barely made that. Look here, ghosty. You're going back. You win! Next. Dun, 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 dun. What's that beneath my feet? It looks like a bubble or something. Am I like popping a bubble to make him jump? When I hit up, he goes up the ladder and then he goes a little bit farther up that ladder. What's up, dude? Boke. So this could be, so this is what we have. Yeah, I got busy, didn't finish. No worries. So let's talk about future. Um, I'm, I'm, this will be our second game that's kind of in a book. I don't know why, how that worked out, but it just happens to be. But this, the way the book is angled here, it's kind of like I'm the viewer looking at it from a sitting down position. So I could see this book like sitting on top of a desk or something and the pages are turning and then inside of this book, I'm completing platforming. Um, I'm assuming the reason why these are actually kind of going outside of that book is we're actually thinking that these are going, like if the book is laying flat, you can see my hand, that the platforms are going up like this instead of the, the this is the book now, this is the pages I'm looking at instead of going up like this. So our dimensions are actually flat book and we're slowly climbing up this. I think if you kept everything within, if you, yeah, it's like old pop-up books, exactly. Like if you could keep everything within that book, that frame of idea, then you could tell a little story that's based off of a platformer, pop-up platformer. I totally love this idea. I think that would be super duper cool. And you could have a, a narrator narrating this book and um, you are playing the main character in this story Oh, dude, that could be so much fun. And, you know, he starts at the beginning, the the bottom left of the corner of the page, and the narrator starts reading. And then little Johnny stumbled across a mysterious box in the forest, and you see him walk up to that box, and he opens up the box. And a ghost jumped out of the box and flew up out into the sky. And little Johnny knew that he had to go get that box that ghost back into the box before his parents found out or he'll or they'll know that he was messing in places where he shouldn't have been so little johnny starts climbing the tree over next to the house and you know it just continues to narrate what he's doing um kind of like um the stanley parable i think 
had that type of narration. And then also the beginner's guide had that type of narration where it's kind of just narrating literally every little nuance that he does. And then if he takes too long or something like that, you can hear some like agitation in his voice. Uh, that could totally be a lot of fun. And then so our last little bit here is little, little Johnny uh, finds the ghost has hidden himself up in a treehouse. And then there's a short little scene between little Johnny and the ghost saying, you know, you need to go back. You need to go back in the box. This is where you belong. This is what's supposed to be happening. Do it, bunk. In scene. And, you know, that could take place over the event of a couple different pages as like a chapter. Oh, dude, it's like, it's just, it's just, it's rolling. There's so much stuff and it's such a good idea. I love this. It's, it's not really a mechanic, but it's it's a, a art style, a game style, because uh, it's not really a mechanic to it. But um, the paper, the paper outline and stuff like that, that was, that's totally cool. And I love that idea. I think that's really neat. Genre? Storybook genre? I don't know. Platformer. Yeah, it's totally a platformer. Absolutely. But the feel of the platformer is storybook. I guess might be the correct way to 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 like elevator pitch that to somebody. I'm designing a storybook platformer. Or something. But yeah, little pop-up books, and I can see like the book opening up and you see the things like pop up. Kind of like Paper Mario, but in you you know thinking of this is in a storybook a pop up that's pretty cool aesthetic yeah that's the word we're looking for so that was cool that's definitely a fun direction to definitely go down um i would love to see some more from that jc monkey i don't know if you're going to continue to work on that or not but if you get a final product or something that you feel like is polished enough for me to play let me know um that's really cool <clears throat> but I mean, basic platforming is there. I think maybe take a look why I have this little bubble thing underneath me and then look at the, um, look at that little stair climber or that ladder climbing thing. And I mean, I think that's really all for right now. You know, you said you didn't get a lot of time to work on this game, which I totally get. I got a different type of this in the next jam with a card. Ooh, interessantes. Yeah, I, I figured it was a double jump. I can I can feel that it's a double jump, but I, I it just feels kind of out of place to me. Like maybe if I had some context of why why he has a bubble that makes him double bu double jump, like if his his uh, pixel art showed like a bubble or something. No, no worries. Boink. Just trying to theme it all together so it feels right. I like the little ghost too. He's pretty cute. Dun 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 dun. Binder. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's about it. I think it's uh it's definitely a start to something really cool. I'd say just keep up the the work on this. If you're going to take this idea and turn it into something else, I can't wait to see what you're going to do with the card, the cards theme. So that was Pop-Up -pop Platformer by JC Monkey. Thank you so much, JC, for making this game. I think you're off to a good start. I'd love to see this uh, come to fruition. I think it would be a really neat, neato game -o. That is for sure, though. Keep up the good work, dude. Yeah, I got plans for it. Do it. Can't wait to see it. All right, getting ready for the next game here. Yeah. This is the one I was getting ready to play, but accidentally had my list slightly out of order. All right, next game on the list is Searching for Sor Sorel by Hmlo. Let's see what Tin says. Searching for Sorel. S Sor Sorel. 
Juniper and Sorel are best friends. They share a house and possessions. But one day, Sorel disappears. That is tiny. Sorel, Sorel, Sorel. Who's there? Juniper, are you trying to prank me? That is a little bit of a creepy face. This isn't funny. That's right. It's not. I've been sent for you, Sorel. Who are you? Why are you here? It's time to go. Let me go. Those dang mirror creatures. Ah! <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. Sparkle, sparkle. Z, z, z. What was that? Was that Sorel? Sorel? Is everything okay? Dot, 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 dot. I should go check on her. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe she's playing a prank on me. Sounds like they like to play pranks, huh? The mirror looks a little off. Uh-oh. Where am I? What was that? Did the ground just shake? This isn't good. Could Sorrel be here? Sorrel! Sorrel! Dot, 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 dot. I have to get out of here. Everything's falling apart. I guess I should just start walking. Hope Sorel's okay. So Sorel question mark? Sorel? Uh Sorel come back. It looked like Sorel, but something wasn't right. Main character kind of looks like uh, Lore from Heartbound. If any of you guys have not seen that game, please go look at that game. They only have a demo for it right now, but that demo is legit. Maybe she went down there. Okay, it's a good chance. Let's go explore and find out. There's a split in the path. Will you go left or will you go right? All right, I'm heading off. Thanks, Art's off. We appreciate you coming out. Hope you have a great night. Keep up what you're doing. Oh, thanks, man. I will do. I thank you. I appreciate that. It is a good thing. Trying to give back to the community where it's due. Hope to see you in one of these next games, and I'll maybe I'll be able to review one of your games. Oh, it looks like someone's here. Maybe they know where Sorrel is. I think he's a little too chill for me right now. Hello, have you seen a girl with pink hair? I can't say that I have, but you should continue on west and see if anyone else has seen them. Uh, all right, thank you. Good luck finding your friend. Much creep creep. Ooh, all right. Nope. Hello, child. You don't look... Nope. I sure don't look dead. I'm not. I'm looking for my friend, a girl with pink hair. Oh, I saw her. She went south of here with another ghost. She was awfully pale. Oh, thank you. She also dropped this. You received Sorrel's locket. Oh, no. All right, so we got to go south. The fog effect is honestly a little too thick for me. I think uh, that could be toned down just a little bit because I think you're losing too much... Um, too much of the texture from the rest of this world. It's just everything is super hazy. Even inside the buildings? I'm not really sure why that would be. Who's this guy? How do I get in there? Maybe go down this way? Yeah. I just wanted to play the piano. Yo, dude. Sorel. Sorel? Juniper. What happened? I've been walking all over this place trying to find you. Was it a joke? I've been worried. It wasn't a joke. I, I'm dead. Dead? You can't be dead. 
Look at me. I'm so pale. Definitely dead. Can't we do something about it? There is one thing. We can try to make a run for it back to the real world. Would that work? It might. You could also just stay here in the ghost realm with me forever. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, leave? We have to hurry then. Will you stay this pale? Probably not. It's just a ghost form. We have to get out of the ghost realm quickly. The ghosts are probably going to be angry, so watch out. Oh, battle time. That's an angry ghost if I've ever seen one. Fight. Attack. Attack. Slain. Aw, no victory sound. Every RPG has to have a victory sound. So we pretty much know how all general RPG Maker games go. You have some already stuff built out for you. Um, so we're going to rely a little heavier on the story plot for trying to do some any type of criticism here. And just the general layout of the game itself. Like the, the textures and the, the maps and stuff right now. So far, the little bit that I've seen, the maps feel pretty good. We just might want to get rid of some of that heavy fog effect. Um, text is all readable. You've got some weird little box beside Ghost. I'm assuming it's a character that is in a font that I don't have, and that's why it's a little wonky. Uh, north? No, no, no. Dang it. What happens if I run? I have escaped! Only to battle the same two ghosts. Run again! I don't know what my chances are being able to escape or not. We're just gonna... Just gonna... Just gonna flee. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Do I have any special abilities? Nope. Just fight. Oh, it looks like someone's here. Maybe they know where so... What? I already have Sorrel. But wait. <laughs> he turns around, he's like... You're already with me, right? <laughs> She's like... Ah. She like starts fading away even more. That's funny. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Is it the real Cyril? We don't know. <laughs> That's great. Oh, man. I'm imagining the character's face, Juniper. Who's like, uh, wait a minute. Man, that's meme central right there. All right, I guess we're just going to continue on. You're looking rather pale, Sorel. Even if it, even if it is your real name, if that is even your real name, she just gives like a vicious laughter. <laughs> Stop guarding! It's the inevitable. We're punching ghost up in here. Go, go. We're almost scotch free. So it's all the same ghost. I would love to have some variation. Um, even if it's just a color. You know, change the color and that's fine. The ghost just hopped out of the way of my punch. You have been slain. Almost home. We're almost there. We're almost out of here. So I've not actually been denied an escape yet. Ah, crap. No. 
I gotta be careful. Some of these games, if I hit escape, it's immediate close. Those are the scary ones. No! Stop it. So do I have any attacks? What is pocket? I don't have anything in my pocket. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. All mine. Oh. Oh, wow. Well. Juniper and Sorel flee the ghost realm. They had to fight off angry ghosts just to make it out alive. Juniper often wonders if staying in the ghost realm with Ghost Sorel would have made a difference. She mostly is just glad that Sorel is alive and well. Game end. So unfortunately, we will not get to find out what happens if we were to stay in that realm. So, we got two lovable characters searching for each other. One is taken to the spirit realm, the ghost realm, and we are going to go find her, fight some ghost baddies, and then have the decision to stay here or go back home. According to the way she looked at the end, she was returned back to normal and everything just kind of moved on. I don't know if the ghost people are going to come back for her or something like that. That wasn't really clear at the very end of the game. I'm assuming this is kind of Undertale, like where you need to go back and play the other to kind of get the full understanding of the game and what's going to happen. Um, combat felt, you know, as all of these RPG Maker games feel, they all feel about the same. Um, we didn't have any like special abilities to kind of look at to see if those were different or, you know, handmade or anything like that. Um, the layout of the places felt pretty good. I think I would have liked to seen more scene oriented places instead of this is just one large graveyard kind of place. Like we, you had a campsite. Maybe we could do something else like that as well. Um, a storage facility. I don't know what ghosts would keep, but they might keep something ectoplasm stuffs. Um, a church, a large church or a temple or something like that, that represents what the spirit realm uh, is and why it's important. Um, some other areas that just don't feel like it's just one large area into the next large area kind of thing. Uh, I want to feel like I'm going to two different places. For instance, like if I walk into a city, I know that one area is going to be a school district. One area is going to be a housing development. One area is going to be like you're, you're downtown, and those all look distinctly different. All of them feel like I've walked into a different area. And I want that same type of feel... In, this, in these type of games. Um, turn that fog down and look at that one bug that said, I wonder if we'll find Sorel. And me and Sorel are both like, maybe there's two of me. I don't know. But good, good game. I'm glad to see that you created your own characters and you've kind of changed up some of the generic textures that we normally see on these games. You even created your own start screen. So I'm really happy to see that. I know you don't have near as many like animations of the character. I think there was actually only one picture of the character. But honestly, I would rather see that than just the stock characters from RPG Maker. Because I feel like that's that means you put a little more thought into it. Instead of, well, let me just use all the base assets from RPG Maker and just work with that. Um... Good job. This was Searching for Sorel by Humlo. Thank you so much, Humlo, for making this game. We appreciate you. Come hang out with us on the Discord sometime. I mean the Twitch stream. Phew. Knocking everything off my head. Fun game, though. Interesting. Hugging Cactus. Testing, testing, hugging cactus. This looks interesting, my friend. I'm ready to see what this one's about. Soon looks like looks like it's gonna grab me by the heartstrings, man. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Okay, all right. The Disappearance of Adam Wright by Hugging Cactus. The following visual narrative depicts the true events following the UCLA Paranormal Research Team 
1998 investigation into end-of-life transmissions. Special thanks to the LAPD for permission to use this police report regarding the disappearance of UCLA student Adam Wright. August 17th, 1998, 1.24 a.m., South Los Angeles. Los, Los Angeles police receive a missing persons report for a Sarah Byers. Caller start stated her colleague Adam Wright had not checked in for over 24 hours and was staying at 58 Oakwood Drive. Officer Collins was closest to the site despite uh, the investigation. Ayo, dude! Thanks for the Twitch subprime, man! Thanks! Welcome to the family! You are now one of our siblings where you get the cool emote of the thumbs up and ad free watching for as long as they keep that, which should be forever. Yeah, now you get the cool little emote. All right, back to your awesome game. This is going to make me, like, freak out or cry or something, I'm sure. But a uh, caller stated her colleague, Adam Wright, would not had not checked in for 24 hours and was staying at 58 Oakwood Drive. Officer Collins was closest to the site and dispatched to investigate. Ooh. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. That's creating a scene. All right, so we got some rain, thunder, and lightning. I don't know. That might actually be outside my house. Are you just recording outside my house right now? Officer arrives on site. Weather conditions had deteriorated. Heavy rain and thunder, thunder obscured the scene. The front door was locked, was closed in locks. Caller had requested officer, officers enter the premises using a key left under the mat. Enter the front door. Oh, dude, look at this. Officer entered the foyer. The ground was littered with books, magazines, photo albums, newspapers. There were stairs leading to the second floor and an archway to the kitchen and the door to the closet. Mm. Let's inspect the papers. Uh, UCLA Daily Bruin, a student newspaper. A group of scientists in the Paranormal Research Department believe they can capture the soul of a person before it departs for, uh, for the afterlife. Team leader... Adam Wright stated the process must be done immediately after death and their system would contain the spirit inside a strong personal item the deceased would naturally draw towards. UCLA Dean sounded skeptical when asked for comments. Let's go back to the foyer. Foyer. Uh, let's look in the closet. Hello. The closet door is slightly ajar. Officer reports an overwhelming feeling of dread and believe he should close the door immediately. Open the door and investigate. Contact lost with the officer. Oh, that's creepy, dude. That's creepy. Oh, man. All right, we're going to go to the closet. And we're going to not touch that closet door. All right, now we're going to go to the kitchen. You can turn the sound up a little bit. Do I, though? Do I need to turn the sound up a little bit? All right, that, that's about 40 right there. Let me know if I need to turn that down some. Officer entered the kitchen. A foul-smelling odor permeated the area. A newspaper clipping stuck to the refrigerator door. There was a door to the garage on the far wall and an archway to the dining room. Let's inspect the clipping. <clears throat> Los Angeles Times, California, National and World News. Los Angeles, California, a team of UCLA students believes that they have captured a human soul. Volunteer Howard Miller was in his last few days battling pancreatic cancer when he decided to try and help the group. Mr. Miller's hospital bed was placed on a state-of-the-art scale to record his exact weight. On Thursday morning, Howard Miller, at the age of 86, passed away. Surrounded by close family members, research, researchers describe Howard's body dropping in weight by 001 grams. A nearby hand mirror gifted from Mr. Miller's late mother registered a 001 gram weight gain only five seconds later. What? Uh, just did that. Let's go to the dining room. Dude, I love these pictures. They're so cool. And there's no like drawing or anything like that. It's all done with text. It's so freaking cool. 
Officer entered the dining room. An open laptop rested on the table. A crumpled rug stuck out from under the chairs. Along the southern wall was an open door to the bathroom. Uh, investigate the laptop. Paranormal Research Division. Re research note week three. All manner of attempts have been made to communicate with Mr. Miller. Music, photos, video recordings, and family members have been played in front of the mirror. No response has been detected. With permission of the family, the team has moved from our campus lab to the deceased subject's home. Huh? We hypothesize a familiar environment may improve our chances of contact. Creepy! Creepy! Much creepy! Yeah, I don't do spooks well. You're gonna make me jump and poop my pants or something. Officer entered the first floor bathroom. Old wallpaper hung in ripped curls off the wall. The bathroom mirror laid shattered in the sink. All right, so that's all we can do there. To the garage. Okay, officer entered the garage. Oil stained the floor where an old car may have been. Time to make a horror game for you. Old stained the floor where an old car may have been on the wall. There was an electrical panel. The door to the backyard rattled from the storm. Let's look at the electrical panel. Officer inspected the electrical panel. Rust crept up the sides. The breakers were all on except for the second floor lighting breaker. Reset the second floor lighting breaker, which I know I'm going to need later. All right, so let's go to the backyard. Officer entered the backyard. An awning created shelter from the aw the awning. Yeah, created shelter from the rain, and a ladder rested against the house. Water flooded most of the yard. All right, so we know there's a ladder there. Probably going to need that later. Let's return to the kitchen. Return to the floor here, and now we'll go to the second story. <gasps> Officer entered the second floor hallway. Lights flickered from some undetermined electrical issues. Got it? The house, the door closet to the stairs is locked closed. Just further up the hall were doors to the office, children's. Oh, God, there's a child's room and master bedroom. Let's go to the office first. Officer entered the office. The carpet had dark stains marbling the rugged surface. A lone desk set in the middle of the room. On the desk stood piles of handwritten notes and a small family photo. Oh, dude, I'm getting the spooks, man. Ooh. Research notes signed Adam Wright. Good news and bad news. The bad news is the uptick in strange events happening around Mr. Miller's home. Doors that were unlocked have locked themselves. We heard footsteps when the whole team is in the bed, and the foyer closet door keeps opening no matter how many times we close it. Good news is we've still had some success with the mirror. At night when the team is asleep, the weight of the mirror fluctuates 1.00 gram. Is this a message? Is the soul traveling back and forth between the mirror? Oh, God. <clears throat> Officer observed a photo of a smiling family surrounding Thanksgiving dinner dated 1976. Officer noted the picture showed the downstairs dining room with a rug revealing a small trap door under the office. Ooh. Ooh. All right. We're going to save the master bedroom for last. Let's go to the children's room. Officer entered the children's room. Two in bunks laid empty in the corner. Porcelain doll lined the wall facing the door. No porcelain dolls. No way. Next. <sighs> Officer entered the master bedroom. The windows had been mostly covered by tape and black trash bags. The little light that shone through outlined a door to the master bedroom and an attic hatchway on the ceiling. Uh, that's what I, that's what. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know what it means or what it says. It just says nothing. We're going to go back downstairs. Uh, uh, go to the closet again. <laughs> the master bedroom's master bathroom has a visual bug. Ignore it. Room is important. You can press zero to back out. I don't know if I believe you. I don't know. It's like, look, it's like Doki Doki Literature Club where everything's fine. Everything's fine. The text is fine. 
Okay, so there was a, supposed to be a trap door, right, in this area? Kitchen? Dining room? Yeah, yeah. Look for the trap door under the rug. It's not important. I'm watching you. Officer lifted the rug to reveal a trap door made of steel. Under the door was a porcelain doll, a cell phone, and a set of old keys. One key was labeled second floor... Uh... BM. Inspect the cell phone. I'm so sorry, Adam. I know my trip to the hospital leaves you at the last one in the house. As the last one in the house. It's okay. You didn't fall down the stairs on purpose. Oh, accidents happened. Those scratch marks Kevin got were weird, though. I'm worried. I don't think you should be alone. Please call off the experiment. Not yet. We are close. I think Miller is traveling through the mirrors. Don't worry about me. I have my cell phone if anything happens. Take the keys. I got the keys now. Okay, we're going to enter the bathroom. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Now we're going to go to the second floor and hope I don't pee my pants. Officer entered the locked second floor bathroom using the old key. The mirror was broken haphazardly across the whole floor. A message was written in dark letters on the wall. This whole experiment was his mistake. He is possessing people. Do not look into the mirrors. I've broken the remaining ones around the house. I believe there's a final mirror in the attic, but I don't have a ladder. I thought there was one in the backyard. I hear loud footsteps from above. If something should happen to me, the last mirror must be destroyed. That should free his trapped spirit. Have courage. Oh my god, dude. You're tearing me to pieces. Huh? I'm wigging out right now. I'm legitimately wigging out right now. And the sounds in the background are just tearing me to pieces. Did I get the ladder? I don't even know. Yes, I did. Oh my god. The outline the mirror is opposite of the th enters the attic. The outline of the standing mirror appears at the opposite end of the small space. Officer gets close to the mirror. The glass shimmers in the reflection <laughs> of the lightning storm. Officer reports hearing voices in a looming present building in front of him. The officer gets even closer to the mirror. The voices begin chanting, reverberating cycles through dust in the air. The wood in the beams of the attic and the bones of the officer's chest breaks the mirror officer stood in the front of the closet the, the officer does not describe how he had left the attic and gotten back to the foyer the officer believed it was now time to open the closet Ooh. Oh. behind the closet was the unconscious body of adam wright medics were called to the home and adam was rushed to the hospital the next day, Adam regained consciousness, but could not recall the past two days. He could not explain how his cell phone was placed under the dining room trap door. Further, he, start, he stated he did not even know of the door's existence. Officer Collins was praised for finding Mr. Wright, while also rebuked for not checking the closet sooner. The police chief reminded the officer that despite the curious circumstances surrounding Mr. Wright's disappearance, ghosts are not real. Whereabouts of Mr. Miller's hand mirror still remains unknown. Dude. Holy freaking crap, dude. That game had me on edge the whole time, and it was super simple. Oh. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Granted, it was it felt very linear. It was such a good story, and it was told in such a way that I was literally on the edge of my seat the whole time. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun with that, and you introduced so many different sound effects throughout this whole game, and I think that's what really helped sell this, because yes, it was a lot of reading, but everything that I was reading felt important. It felt like I needed to know that information in order to continue progressing down the story. Um, I played this in a little under 15 minutes, but... There's a lot of stuff in this game. There's a lot. And I'm assuming you drew every single one of those um, pictures. That was awesome, dude. You could really tell 
you could tell each of those scenes the way that they were drawn with the the text. Is it called ASCII? I think or something like that or something like I. That's probably wrong, but the the text is is amazing. What you were able to create with that that was so freaking cool. I think you did an excellent job with this game. I don't know if this is bullcrap or not. If this this 1998 paranormal research thing is, but real or not, I'm scared. Priceless p pantsless. No, I still have my pants on. My pants are still on. Don't worry. Um. Oh my gosh, that was such an amazing game. Um. Wow, I'm just kind of out of words, man. That was really good. I don't think I would change anything. I think you, I would just leave that the way it is and then just throw that up random places and watch other people just lose their crap. Wow, what an awesome game. Very good, dude. So that was The Disappearance of Adam Wright by Hugging Cactus. Man, 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 oh, man, oh, man. Whew. Great job. Just, just great job. I'm sorry. I don't have anything else to say. I don't. I can't say anything else. I'm just. I'm just skirt, much much skirt, but in a good way. Like I feel like that was. I just don't have words, man. I really felt that the whole way through that this was just really really well crafted. I got spooked pretty much the whole time. All right. I'm gonna try to install this game. One more time. Seems like I got it to work one time and then can't seem to get it to work again. Yeah, so this gas last game's just not working. One more install try. Let me check and see if they have a web version of it too. Well, while I'm doing this, I do want to thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. Um, I do this to help you guys so you can kind of get the perspective of a gamer. I'm not a programmer in any way, stretch of the means. I understand basic functions, and I know a little bit in Java. I know a little bit in C Sharp. I did two semesters with Visual Basics, so I understand the basics, but that's about it. I don't have anything published. I don't have anything made, but I do offer you way too many years of gaming experience just playing games which i'm sure is the majority of you guys as well um yeah i cannot get this game to to play oh well we tried thank you guys for coming out looks like that's going to be it for this evening i'm not able to get this last game to load i've tried re-downloading and tried reinstalling it that way um, news. So let's see what we got here. Ludum Dare was a huge success. I had a whole lot of fun playing Ludum Dare games. I'm going to be doing that again in the the winter, which is, I think, December, I think, is the next time that they have Ludum Dare. So I'm going to try to do a whole lot more Ludum Dare games this time. I'm going to set aside some time. I honestly was not expecting there to be that big of a turnout. We had, guys, we had 65 people on this stream wanting to see Ludum Dare games played. So I definitely underestimated the amount of people that wanted to see people play those games. Golly, excuse me. I'm burping up everything. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to spend like three or more days playing Ludum Dare games in the, um, in December, just because I really love seeing all the people coming out and I love being able to give feedback for so many people. I'm going to try to do a stupid amount of games played just like uh, Alicia Griffin and Lumpy Touch and um, Honestan. I think he also plays some games as well. Uh, there's such a great community behind Ludum Dare. I just did not know. I came in really just blind and said, well, okay, I'll spend four hours and play some games. Probably not going to have a lot of people show up and then boy, I was just way wrongo super duper wrongo um so we're gonna do that again i'm also looking at introducing some extra game jams to the channel we're gonna do like um i'm gonna shoot for one every month and i'm gonna pick a day it's gonna be a wednesday night thing so we'll have one wednesday out of the month that'll be dedicated to a game jam i'm looking for other partners that i want to work with uh, that are hosting these game jams. So if you have one that you're participating in outside of weekly game jam that you're really liking and you want to have some of those games featured on my channel, 
let me know what game jams you guys are interested in, and I'll I'll take a look at them and contact them and see if that's something that I want to do. The one that I'm most interested in right now is the D Make game jam. And I think someone told me that that one had just started or is like brand new or something like that. It's where they take like a 3D platformer and they'll make it a 2D platformer. Or they'll take like No Man's Sky and then turn it in down to like a pixelated version of that. And I love that. That's so cool. Because you get some of like your favorite games into like little pocket versions that you could take with you and kind of get that same feel just in a different style. I think that's just really cool. Um, yesterday we played Hollow Knight. I got about two hours in. I feel like I'm still kind of getting my bearings in that game. We're going to play that again this coming Saturday on the stash. Should be a lot of fun. Any time to try out my old game after the Game Gym games tonight sent on Discord. Um, probably won't play it on stream, but I'll definitely play it and shoot you a little review. Now that I'm kind of caught back up from Ludum Dare, <laughs> Hollow Knight, and then also this stream, I've got a little bit more time to play those extra games. So I'll definitely uh, play that and give you a little review. I'll probably write you up something too, just so you have that. Um, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. You guys rock. Did you link another streamer who was playing the ghost games this week? Um, Akai, she played a handful of them. I think she played like five. She's not, she didn't play them all. Um, scrolling back up through chat to see if I can find that. There it is. Somebody may post it. Boom. If I send you a game, will you review it even if it doesn't fit the theme? Uh, potentially. If it if it fits, if it looks like it's polished enough, I will play it on my YouTube channel, which you guys can go follow on there. Um, I have a little section called Personal Projects, and I will play those games and give you anywhere between like a 20-minute to an hour long playthrough depending upon if it's like an RPG game where it might take a little bit longer to get through the story. I will play that and give you some feedback on a video. So just send me that through Twitch. You can send me that through Discord. You can send me that through um, Twitter. Twitter is usually where you'll find me the most. Um, I think even like YouTube now has like inboxes or something like that where you can get where you can message people on YouTube which I think is kind of weird but I don't make YouTube, so they do what they want with it. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thank you for for just being awesome and uh, um, everything. You guys just rock so freaking hard. I'm going to bed, getting ready for the week. We'll see you next time. <laughs>